Hey guys and welcome back to MG Marine Tech and today I wanted to dive into creating custom combos. It's a very very handy little feature that's on these Garmin units but I wanted to show you how you can create your own and also edit the ones you've created as well as show you some of the combos that I use that I have found very very handy and why I set them up the way I do. So let's dive right in and show you guys what I got. Create a combo or even see what combos you have. It's very simple just go to your combos tab. This will bring up the screen where all your current combinations are. The first question you may have are what are these numbers in the top left of each of these boxes? Well, those numbers just tell you which key they are assigned to. So if I press number four key, it'll go to my number four combo. To create a new combo, very simple, you just hit your customization key and add. Now once you get that far, you will come up with a layout screen. Now this is a very important step in that depending on what type of sonar and what you want to do, it's very crucial to pick the right one. I'm not going to dive into that right now, we'll cover that in a second, but we'll just show you how to create a simple layout. Once you pick the layout, that, that layout will pop up with empty in all the areas that that layout has, and you simply press the side that you want and this will pop up with everything that is connected. If I wanted to add a fishing chart to my left side and on my right side I wanted a traditional sonar, there we go. Now you'll see this up down left right arrow circular pad here in the middle and this pad will allow you to change how much of the screen is dedicated to what part of the combo. So if I wanted to make a bigger traditional side I can do like so or if I needed a bigger map and a smaller traditional side I can adjust it like that. Once you're happy with the way it is, you just hit done. You can name your combo here. I'm not gonna name it right now, but, and there you go, that combo is saved. So you've played around and created some of your own combos. Now you aren't quite happy with one and you just want to either get rid of it or you want to rearrange it. Getting rid of it is very, very simple. You just go to your customize key, hit remove, and then you can pick which one you want to delete. If we want to edit a combo, it is also very simple. So say I'm not quite happy with this combo that I created um, and I want to make you know this traditional up here smaller uh, and I want to give more of screen real estate to the bottom half. Um, I can go into my menu and then configure combination and then edit combination. This will bring you up to basically the, the beginning steps of creating a combo and you'll see this similar up down left right uh, pad here and you can then rearrange uh, rearrange the screen however you may want. Once you hit done, that'll be saved. You can also change what you see in here. So say I want to get side view from down here to up here. What we have to do first is get rid of side view here so we can pick anything, you know, anything you have available and then go up to here. Now I want my side view across the top and I want to put my traditional back. There we go. And I want to change this screen to uh, down clear view. So there you go. That's a you know a good looking combination there. I'm happy with it. I can hit done. Now the other thing you can do in that configure combinations menu is change the layout. So say I've got all three of those screens and I wanted to change the layout to say this one. I can do that. Not something that I would run, but it's an option. As now that I've shown you how to create and edit combos, I want to show you some of the combos that I use out on the water all the time and why I think choosing the correct layout for different types of sonar is very, very crucial. Here are several combinations that I use all the time, along with a little straggler here at the end labeled as failed, because I wanted to demonstrate to you something that I think is very, very crucial, especially when you use when you are into side imaging and you use that quite often. Now to get the most out of it, it's very important to choose the right layout and I'll show you why. So this layout has our side imaging, our down imaging, and our map. A very typical layout. I see this all the time and if you are not really into side imaging, you know what, no big deal. But if you want to get the most out of it, this is why this combination is wrong. We have 70 foot on each side so in theory 140 foot of information being compressed onto a very very small portion of the screen. So how do we fix that? 
we would run our side imaging all the way across the screen. And so I'll show you with one of my preset combinations what it would look like. All the same, three different things. I'll have side imaging, down imaging, and a map, but on a different layout. So instantly, you can see much better resolution, more detail, and you're able to actually pick out what things are much, much easier. So again, side imaging, I always run across the full screen. And as you can see by my combos, if I have side imaging, it's going across the whole screen. And that, <laughs> that is the reason why. The last combo that I would like to show you, traditional 2D split vertically with a down imaging. This combo is one of the first combos that I actually created. And when I was new to uh, fish finders in general, um, this combo taught me a lot about what I was seeing on either the traditional or the down imaging and vice versa. And this is what I mean by that. So we see all these things in here, which are arches. Well, are those arches actually fish or are they other structure? This is what will help you determine that. So as you can see, these big arches right here, you're like, holy cow, those are definitely fish. I'm gonna stop and fish it. Well, if we come over here and look on our down imaging, we can see in fact that it is most likely, uh, you know, just a piece of sunken timber or weeds or whatnot, but there are definitely fish above it. So it still would have been a good spot to uh, stop and fish. Again, you can see, holy cow, look at all these fish. They're just stacked one on top of each other when in fact it's just a you know a standing log that's something that can really help you guys determine what you are seeing on either your 2d sonar or your down imaging the last little tip i have for you on these combinations is that when you are in a combination you can blow any one of these screens up to full screen very very quickly just by touching on that screen you give it one little tap full screen you can go back to that combination by going to back button and you can do that with any of them so you see something on your side imaging that you want to blow up simply tap on your side imaging full screen you can do what you want then go back to your combination very very simple very very handy little feature thank you for watching my video on combinations hopefully it was able to answer any questions you may have had or even show you something that you didn't know was possible if you do have any questions on this video or have a topic that you would like to see covered in future videos please drop a comment down below. I will be sure to get to those as soon as possible. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech.